Good morning, good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> good afternoon to those that are in, the, are in the afternoon. Good evening to those that are in the evening time. And at night, enjoy it. Late night talk. Welcome, 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 everyone. And I want to say welcome to my new YouTuber. I'm so glad that you have joined the channel. I pray that you get something out of it. It's different. I talk about a lot of different things. I show a little, you know, a lot of different things. But so let's just get into it real quickly. Um, I just want to ask you a few questions, okay? Um, do you think that a gun or an atomic bomb is the most dangerous weapon? in the world do you think a certain type of poison that you're trying to give someone because you want them to die to get the insurance money or you just plainly want them off the face of this earth because you can't stand them and they have wronged you and they have hurt you pissed you off Do you think pounding someone's head in the concrete, trying to kill them because they have said something, did something that won't write to you and that was really foul and that you hate them so much that you want to take their life to the point that you can't even hear God's voice or hear somebody that is close to you trying to give you the voice of reason? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> or maybe, maybe, do you think that the most dangerous thing that you can do is perform witchcraft on someone, right? That maybe you want to get them back because they have disrespected you, embarrassed you, or maybe you want to do something bad to a lover or the lover's mate, a spouse, because you want them back? Because people perform witchcraft for various reasons. You know, they really do that. And, um, you know, you have to be careful when you do that as well. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. But that's another topic. The most dangerous weapon in this world is the member on your body. And that member is your tongue. It is the most powerful thing in the world. Because your tongue can soothe. It can help. It can comfort. Okay? It can encourage and it can hurt. Your tongue can mess your whole life up. Why? Because you're speaking negative over your life. You're speaking negative over your finances. You're speaking negative over your family. Speaking negative over your bank account. Speaking negative over your relationship with your spouse or your mate. Your, your, your tongue can harm those that are close to you, as I said. So it's a tough member, isn't it? Yes, we have aches and pains in our body. And it's okay when someone asks us how you're feeling and you're telling them the truth. But your tongue should always say, by his stripes I am healed. Because then you're still acknowledging him. And you're speaking it into existence. That you're not going to always feel like this. <clears throat> or that God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. These are the things that the tongue can do. Your tongue can dial up your best friend that you think is your best friend. And... <clears throat> and you're telling your best friend about the other friend. And you're thinking your best friend is going to keep it to herself or himself. Because you said, don't tell, don't tell this other person. Don't tell John. Don't tell Susie. Don't tell it. 
because you know how they are. Just as soon as you get off the phone. Girl, you know what? Let me tell you what Ruth said. Such and such, such and such. Yo, 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 my man. Let me tell you what Joe said. And here it go. Drama. Bet your tongue started it. Because you doubt the number and you wanted to talk about it. Instead of talking about it to the supreme being. That next thing, it's going to be on Facebook. Woo! Yes, it's going to be on Facebook. Then the person that you're talking about might just cuss your hind part out. And if they know where you live at, oh, you might get this, a little knock on the door. But it came from your tongue, right? Okay. So let's see what the Lord say about it. Let's see what the Bible say about your tongue. <clears throat> okay. And stand up a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, what does the Bible say about your tongue? You know, I like to move a little bit, you know, it keeps me going. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So if you speak in positive about your tongue, if you're speaking positive out of your mouth, then positive things will come back to you. But if you're speaking negative out of your mouth, negative things is going to come back to you. And if you say something really negative, right then you ask, look, forgive me, uh-uh, I'm sorry, Yahweh, let me rearrange my words. Sometimes you have to rebuke your own self. Rebuke your own self from what you're saying, right? Okay. And what else does, what else does um, it say? How to control your tongue according to the Bible is a suggestion that I'm finna make. <clears throat> Be intentional. If you're supposed to speak up, do it with boldness. If you are supposed to remain silent, do it with boldness. Psalms 19 and 4. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Take responsibility for the words that come out of your mouth. Out of your mouth. Because nine times out of ten, when you're on the phone talking to someone, and they tell somebody else, well, the story done switched a little bit. Because they done added their two cents in it. By the time it come back to you, it don't even sound like what you said. What is the power of the tongue? <clears throat> Words are powerful and we must remember that the tongue has the power of life and death in it. Right? Proverbs 18 and 28. Okay. In this passage, James is saying, Whosoever teach the word of God will be held to the highest standard of judgment. Teachers, rabbis, religious leaders, pastors are often looked up to because of their position. That's what that scripture said. <clears throat> but as you know, even, even in this word, you already know that your mouth can start some stuff. You already know that your mouth can damage people's lives. 
Have you ever said something? <coughs> excuse me. Have you ever said something? And the next thing you know, it happened. It happened. Have you ever spoke over somebody's life? And not for long, it happened. Oh, you say, I don't have a dime. And the next thing you know, you done spent your last dime. Have you ever heard that if you're pregnant, don't laugh at that person that you don't like or whatever? Because if you touch your stomach, guess what? That baby's going to have some characteristics of that person. And guess what they might have? A mouth just like them. There are a lot of people that speak negative over stuff every single day. Negative, 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 negative Nancy. Not just saying that everybody that's Nancy is negative. I'm just using that. You know, just using that <laughs> as a little, a little example. You know, but negative this, negative. And you know what? <clears throat> people don't want to be around a negative person. I don't want to be around people that talk negative. Because it gets my spirit down. I want to be around people that are positive, that are talking positive things and talking positive to me. Y'all hear the doorbell. It's just somebody coming up here. You know. <laughs> So, you know, I'm just saying to you, I need for you to learn to mind what comes out of your mouth. Mind the words that you say. Speak positive over your mind. Speak positive over your health. Speak positive over the vital, vital organs in your body. Speak positive over your finances. Speak positive over your household. Speak positive over your mate. Speak positive over your marriage. Speak positive over your children and your grandchildren. Speak positive over your aunts and your uncles, your sisters and your brothers, your nieces and your nephews, your cousins. Speak positive over those friends that you feel is close to you or your church family, or if you go to a temple, speak positive over these people. If you speak positive, positive things will come back to you. Okay? These things will come back to you. You know, I used to do that, and sometimes I catch myself and when I catch myself, I get it right, right then. Because even I've said stuff that was negative in the past and wondered why it happened. But I forgot what I said. So your words are very powerful. Your words are very, very powerful. They are. Stand up again. Your words are very, very, very powerful. And... It means something. And it's going to accomplish that which it say. So just know that. What, think about it. When people practice voodoo. Or people practice witchcraft. What they do. They use their tongue. It manifests. Whatever needs to come out. It needs to go. And do the purpose of whatever they're saying. Right. Right. So, therefore, you can manifest your words by speaking positive over your life. I don't know who I'm talking to. And I don't know who this is for. But I'm saying to you, listen, <clears throat> I know sometimes things get hard. I know things get tough in your life. Right? That's what you think. But you know you can turn that right there into something positive and say, you know what? My life is not going to be tough. My life is not going to be hard. I'm going to have an easy life. I'm going to have a good life. <coughs> I'm going to have a good life. You know? 
We're so easy to say, my God, this day has been the hardest day I've ever seen. Why is my life? I hate my life. A lot of us have said that. I've even said that. But then I had to turn around and say, oh, Yahweh, forgive me for that. Because I don't want to die. I love my life. But I'm in my feelings. If you say something like that, quickly, quickly correct it. It's okay to speak positivity in your life. It's okay to do that. It's okay to do that. Get away from negative people. Get away from people talking to you on the phone negatively. And sometimes you can't avoid it if you're out and about in the store. <clears throat> but that means that, you know, you got to talk in the spirit. Somebody in the store talking foolish on your job, talking foolish. You sometimes have to talk in the spirit or say, "Hey, I don't want to feel. I don't want to hear this today." You know, you're being negative, and I don't want to hear that. So therefore, I, I just, you know, I'm gonna kindly go over here where Rhonda is, and because she's talking positive to me. And I want to go where there's a positive vibe. You know, I'm a positive person. I try to be. I've learned how to be that way. Because at one time, you know, when I was going through little things, yes, it was normal to feel negative things around you. And I'm not talking about just human negative things. When you around negative people or you're talking negative or you feel a negative, do you not know that the spiritual world is all around you? Do you not know that you that you can encourage them to perform that thing which you say? Have you ever walked past people that you know spirits won't write and it was a negative vibe best thing that you need to do is talk to the most high the powers that be God, look clean my circle again don't don't i do not want that negative vibe to enter my space my circle i don't want to hear no negative stuff entering my ears <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I know. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm saying to you is start talking positive. Be positive. Think positive. And be around people that are positive. Okay? Okay, everyone. Thank you for listening again. I enjoy talking to you. You know, you, you ladies and gents are special to me. Y'all are very special. And I enjoy spreading a few words to you and so um again leave your comments in the comment section i would greatly appreciate it you know i enjoy what you say and i even take thought to what you say okay all right give me a thumbs up share 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 all is welcome i love you guys okay and you guys stay safe have a lovely day and to the fathers, happy Father's Day. You know, happy Father's Day to you because fathers are very important. And, you know, I think about men sometimes that they that what happened to them just ain't fair. Men go through a lot of stuff. I'm not a man, but I have a son. And they go through a lot of stuff. And so... Kudos to you on Father's Day. I'll probably come back and say something else concerning Father's Day tomorrow. Hopefully, I don't know. But I just want to say this. Happy Father's Day to all the men that um, are good fathers. And happy Father's Day to the stepfathers that are our fathers as well because sometimes the sperm donor is absent then the stepfather have to come in and take over and if he stay there 
and try to help them kids, he's a good stepfather. <clears throat> He's a good stepfather. So it's not always all the time that it's the sperm donor that the woman have slept with and got pregnant and had to raise the baby. No, nope, it's both fathers. So happy Father's Day to the fathers that stay there and that is raising their kids or their stepkids. Kids trying to be <clears throat> the best they can and do the best they can because they want the very best for the children that they are help raising. Sometimes it may not feel good, it may not sound fair what comes out of their mouth, but they always have good intentions for what they're saying. So I admire Father's Day more and more. They have to take mess off the job, they have to take mess off the police, they have to take mess off in their women. They have to take mess off in their exes. And you know what I'm talking about, men. Without bringing it out. My spiritual hat go off to y'all. And I pray that God give y'all strength. Strength in whatever it is that you are trying to do and is going to do. That he guide you. Even those that don't have kids. But yet and still, someone calls them dad. Happy Father's Day to you as well. Because it's your wisdom that have been imparted into those children's lives and they respect you. You, wouldn't, you didn't have to do it, but you did. So happy Father's Day to you. Men are blessings. They are jewels. And they are wonderful. They are just as important. A lot of times we don't give them enough credit for what they do or what they go through. They have to be, be made tougher than the women at times. They sometimes hold back their tears because they want to be tough. But inside, they all torn to pieces. So I just want to say to you guys, happy Father's Day. Keep that good work up. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Don't you let nobody else bring you down. I don't care what it is, man or woman. Don't you let nobody else bring you down. You keep your head up. Okay? All right, you guys. I enjoy talking to you. Again, leave your comments in the comment section. And again, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscriber. Enjoy, enjoy with the posts. And check out my community, my little questions that I be asking. I would love to hear from everybody and hear what you think about the questions that I ask in the community section. Okay? All right, I'm going to sign off. This is Queen Los. Take it light.